Welcome back to Tom's Great Outdoors. April 29th, 2020. Um, I just found my first late black morel. That one right there, it's been ate up by a slug. Uh, most of them been the early blacks. Um, but, like I said, I did find a couple late blacks. That was like one of the decent ones that you can see. But even though it's been ate up by a slug, you can definitely tell that's a late black. Um, now that I'm finding those, is it, now it'll be time to go out and start looking for the grays and whites. Um, they usually start popping within two two days to a week from when you start finding the late blacks. And today's the first day I found any real late blacks that I can actually tell. Um, so I will be taking an adventure over to my gray spots, which I have already have been doing. But now that I found this, this will really get me going on me looking in my gray spots um i wanted to give you a small clip so you guys know you know once you start finding those ones with the long dark big round thick stem like that right there that gives you a kind of a clue to you know pretty soon you're going to start finding your grays and whites um those are your right there is just your early blacks that one right there is questionable because it's got the long stem on it but that one right there, you definitely can tell it's got the fat, dark stem. Ain't very uh, sturdy. They're kind of more crumbly. Um, but I wanted to give you a small clip. And I'm out here in the popple trees again. As you can tell, this is what a popple tree looks like. Usually I look into ones that are about... These are about 10 inches, 8, 10 inches round. Most of them out in here, there's a few smaller ones. But most of them out in here that I'm looking in are right around 6, 8, 10 inches round. Um, for some reason, that's where you find your most productive black morels in, for me anyways. Um, but I wanted to give you this small clip, and uh, I'll catch you on the next. Tom's Great Outdoors. Stay safe. Take care.